What's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey everyone, Kat here. Um, just wanted to add a little um, up to date. Today is August 15th. Um, Chunky and I are back in uh, Quartzite. We have been back since Chunky got back on the 3rd of July. I had to turn around and go back to Ohio to take care of stuff from my truck. Um, so I left back out on July 5th and um, took care of things and then I uh, I was back by uh, July 12th so um, uh, July is basically a blur who put it that way with all the, the driving leaving Ohio coming back here turning right around with like a day's rest and trucking it back to Ohio um, getting stuff taken care of in three or four days and then turning right around and coming back but um, Chunky and I are doing well um, Chunky's at work right now, so I'm trying to play catch up on some of these videos. Um, I've been very behind. Um, migraines and uh, health issues have um, kind of had the better of me, and it is extremely hot here, so of course that, that'll sap your energy as well. But um, we are both doing good. We're both healthy. Our family is all well. Um, I just wanted to get an update, a quick little update to attach to the front of this video. Um, what I'm putting together is a sit down Chunky and I had on June 22nd while we were back in Ohio um, where we sat down and we did our um, uh, RV sticker club thank you and channel shout outs um, like, like I've been doing. Um, we had a handful that I didn't get to do before we left for the trip and uh, we, we just sat down and um, did that and did a little chatting and um, so I'm trying to put that together to get that on here. Um, I have another video that I need to put together of the stickers that we got from the end of the May, end of May um, catching up to today but I'm working on that. Um, of course I have other videos I have to put together from our trip and things that have been happening since. Um, I still haven't really dove into trying to see if the software worked for me to be able to try and um, retrieve some of the lost uh, photos and everything else that I had but um, I'll, I'll work I'm going to try and work on that but I just wanted to give you a heads up we're okay the weather boys Sunny Stormy and Tar Baby are all well and being catty and um, and we'll catch up but Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for hanging in there with us, and we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy. Hi, everyone. Kat here. Howdy, y'all. Chunky here. Welcome to Buckeye Kitties. Tales and travels. Tales and trails. She's dogs undecided. Anyways, we're still back in Washington Courthouse, Ohio, at my son's house, visiting family, um, and getting to see my new grandson and my granddaughter. Um, it's June 22nd at 2.12 in the afternoon, and the temp says it's 79 according to the watch. Um, figured we'd tape outside since it's humidity here. Oh my god. <laughs> humidity is rough. It's rough on the breathing. But we'd figure, we figured we'd, uh, we brought the ones with us that we didn't do a sticker shout out thank you video for the ones that we received before we came to Ohio. We've been here. This Thursday will be five weeks we've been back this time, so far. Um, and these are the stickers we brought with us that I hadn't, we hadn't done a video thank you yet for. Um, when we get back, there's supposed to be some waiting for us when we get back to Quartzsite, but we figured we'd do a, a video um, on the stickers and let you see us. We're still kicking and enjoying family and uh, spending time and visiting. I uh, got, got a, a message. Somebody was asking if we were still alive at one point. Yes, we are still alive. Um, with everything that's been going on, I think I was trying to explain it to you as a video or two back, possibly. Um, can't really do much right now, and a lot of you understand that with the whole traveling and yada, yada, yada. Um, so we've just been kind of doing our own thing for a little while. I was putting a few videos out of me doing some 
different things around our trailer and then we had to come back here for some doctor's appointments so everything's just been kind of laid back and slow we have to get back into the habit of doing videos again um to be honest with you this kind of feels different and i'm not used to talking to the camera again um it's amazing that what will happen in just a short period of time anyway well when you have an opportunity to spend time with family do it don't have camera in hand all the time fucking nascar going on behind us uh you know so we've been trying to enjoy it and, and relax and um you know no pressure and all that we are sitting out on dustin's back porch we have an umbrella because as you can see the sun is out so it makes it look like we're on two different screens so the effect with this gopro watch that i was laughing at this earlier not touching not touching not touching and it hesitates <laughs> But Should anyway, be real time for y'all. But, but we're still we're we're on the we're at the same table, <laughs> so we're not using any special. But we got the nice looks like social distancing thing going on. But in the time since we have spoke to you guys last in a talking chatty whatever video whatever, bubblehead video whatever you called it, um, we have added a new sticker. Of course, you guys have seen. Make sure I have it. See that or not. Our Buckeye Kitty, our main sticker. We've still got the holographic for a very short period of time that's left. In the period of time, we have added the Weather Boys. Thanks to Jim at Toonstead, he tuned our fur kids for us. And, uh, oops, um, it still says Buckeye Kitty on it, but um, our cats, I created an Instagram for them. The Weather Boys, boys with a Z. Um, I created an Instagram page, so for all the cat people out there that just strictly want to look at that, look at pictures and videos of those, they I've I created them <laughs> their own uh, uh, Instagram account so that I can share pictures. But anyways, back to reason for the video. We are part of the RV Sticker Club, where fellow travelers, RVers. Um, Camper vans, fifth wheelers, van dwellers, um, other channels have channels on YouTube, and a lot of them are just Instagram only. But what it is is everybody communicates and trades stickers with one another. Don't know if I explained that in the other video, but um, as I said, I want to share the ones with you that I didn't do a shout out video yet for. Um, and then, of course, when we get back, I'll have to do one with the ones that we've missed out on for the past They're five gonna, weeks. They're going to the post office anyway. Well, the last time we were gone for 30 days, and, and it was like Christmas for me. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting back just to check the mail, just to, you know, get Buckeye Kitty mail. <laughs> but anyways. So we'll, we're going to jump right in. Uh, we're going to first start out with sun. So I can't talk today. My mouth hurts. Sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. Hopefully y'all can... Let's see, we're looking at a tiny phone screen. Honey and Me. Frank's Honey and Me sent a cute little card as well as the sticker. And the wind is gonna now pick up. <laughs> Thank you, Honey and Me. Cute sticker. We got On the Road Again. Awesome little sticker. Hopefully my finger's not covering it. Johnny's Journey. They sent a nice little thank you card for the one that we sent. And they sent a couple, a big one and a small one. Uh, this lighting stinks. But Johnny's Journeys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be happy with this video simply because of the lighting, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm having some difficulty here apparently. RV away with us. Sent a nice card. Oh, it's a sticky paper. So we got up for the journey. Sent us a sticker and a nice note. I can't remember, but I think I've I've already um, snapped pictures and shared this. My thank you on Instagram for the individual stickers. <sighs> Already forgot. Wireless Wanderlust. Nice little thank you card and sticker. 
This lighting's not giving justice to these nice stickers because that's like a really nice green. We've got Captain Jack Scrapper. Help if I actually showed y'all, huh? Ahoy, Captain. Thank you. Very appreciative. Southern living with the Sewells. Yeah, Sewells, Sewells. I think it's Sewells. So I'm sorry if I butchered it. I apologize. Yeah, the uh, umbrella is red, so that's why everything's kind of getting a red cast to it. All right, next we have a few. Thank you to Bonnie, the camper. You addressed it to my daughter-in-law, but I still got it. I mean, you put her name on the envelope instead of mine, but I still got it. <laughs> Looks like we got two different ones in here. We've got... There's Rockin' and Rollin' with Bonnie. Cute! She gets three done. I'm still over here trying to figure this one out. We got Talking Chitty. <laughs> they sent two stickers. And then on the other, we got the Crabs Homestead. Took me a minute to figure that one out. They also sent a nice note. Um, some of them you can actually see and we don't know if people like their notes being showed, so. Nice little thank you card for a runaway with us. <laughs> it's cute. I don't know if you can see it, but in the dash, in the windshield, you can see the little doggy. So thank you to them. Hello, how are you? Oh. Almost the almost happy camper.com sent us a nice card and sticker. We have another friend that is the almost a happy, happy camper, but that's a different person. And last but not least, nice thank you card. Moments to pause, full time RV living. So, again, thank you so much. That's a big one. To our friends, new friends, um, that have exchanged stickers with us um, I don't have it in front of me and I'll probably I'll try to be more prepared for the next video um, about the stickers um, we of course have several that we've sent and received to Canada we have um, some that have come we've sent and received from the different places in the United Kingdom I don't know why I was so excited I got one from Alaska you know it's part of the United States but I'm goofy but what tickled me the other day or last last week when we sent it out was um, an RVer traveler van traveler I can't remember what it is but they're from uh, it's gonna tip the camera over there it goes it's slowly so if GoPro goes flying there we go anyways um, we actually expecting one but we've sent one to France France Buckeye Kitty made it to France. I come out and I told uh, Dustin Buckeye Kitty was going to France and he's like, huh? When you all leaving. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Buckeye Kitty's reached France and uh, it was pretty cool. I, I, I was kind of embarrassed, but I wanted to let, let the people know, the friends know that I used Google Translate on my phone to write out my message. I wrote it in English on the bottom and I used Google Translate to translate it into French exactly what I said on the bottom just in, in case they couldn't read English or um, uh, couldn't read my writing I should say but um, so I had messaged them back on Instagram to let them know that I had done that on the note in the card and uh, in their translation back they laughed and they said that they did the same thing <laughs> so go for Google Translate. I know a lot of people don't necessarily like products and apps like that, but it, it's handy, it's helpful. It was, it was pretty fun, you know, translating it out and writing it out like that, but um, I can't tell by the phone exactly. It says 11 minutes. Okay, we're still doing good. But um, yeah, as he said, we've been visiting family, took care of some appointments, Chunky did a thing, which you've seen the video for. If you haven't, check it out. He uh, he drove the Bravada back cross country. I was told that Brittany the Bravada would never make it back to Ohio again. 
which he did. He almost didn't, but he did. That's for another video. Um, uh, yeah. Remind us, and uh, we'll tell you about our trip to Ohio this go round. It it was. One of us almost didn't make it. That's just, we're just going to leave. Yeah, it and that's that. not funny, but yeah, one of us almost didn't make it. But remind us, and we'll we'll discuss talk about that. the bravada story if people want to uh, know. But Brittany the bravada is with her new home now believe it or not the people that got her the dealership had traded it into i took it in 30 minutes before closing they sold it the next morning at opening and now it's pulling cargo trailers <laughs> throughout washington courthouse ohio so yeah it, it lives again so we'll it... go into more detail in the next video if you guys would like to hear about that um something i wanted to bring up while i had you guys here sticker mule you know that we've been working with sticker mule for a little while now that's how we've been able to bring you guys all of our stickers i actually just put an order in and we got a box of stickers that are ready to go out to you guys we're all stocked up for a little while our they, buckeye kitty ones as well as our the weather boys one you know, as, they go together because they're rv cats they travel with us and as that. always the link in the our description will get you guys ten dollars off your first order and the email that i received this morning uh they are having me tell you guys this week and this week only they're doing five days of deals each day they're going to do a different deal like today uh 50 stickers for 19 dollars when 50 circle three inch stickers are usually 69 dollars so there's some savings there so that's the size if you're aware of, yep these of are the, what, the, what we use these are the three inch circle um die cut circle and that seems to be the popular size everybody the plus of these days of deals especially with using our link and getting ten dollars off your first order you can apply that to the sale deal so say today you got your 50 stickers for $19, you can get them for $9. Keep that in mind, links in the description. Um, they just wanted me to let y'all know that that's what was going on this week. I received that email this morning. Um, Anthony, if you're watching, which I doubt that you are, I told him. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anthony at Sticker Mule. Yes. Um, also, um, it should be in a video that you should see before this as well. I also did a thing. Um, I traded my 2005 Ford F-150 Super Crew Cab uh, Cat upgraded. I got me a 2018 Ford F-150 um, Super Crew. It is so pretty. Yeah, and already I've had somebody I doubt you all can see that. I'm having problems seeing well, it. The videos should be out before this. Um, I've still got to put those together. But yeah, I I, I had issues with the it was over, a, overdrive and the transmission. 2005 I had transmission. Ford F-150 had the 5.4 Triton. 5.4 Triton was Ford's worst engine ever built. They will take it to their grave and deny that it truly was. But any Ford driver knows the 5.4 had a bad uh, exhaust manifold issue. Well, it did, and unfortunately, Clifford the first needed both driver and passenger, and we were quoted over two thousand dollars to have the repair done. That, That's not including labor. No, and that did not even include the work on the transmission that needed done. Yeah, um, overdrive issues, and not a good thing to have happen. Clifford was a good boy. Pulling the trailer. Clifford was such a good boy. We put him through more hell than that truck ever should have been through. Yeah, I forget um, how many miles I put on it but and because i got it august what 7th i think is what it was so yeah it that was a it was a good truck had no you know i love that truck but this one um she loves even more well the fact that it's newer and it has a little higher weight capacity towing and the the little extras in it are are, are really neat to have <laughs> but um it is what it is. I, I upgraded, you know, um, eventually down the line because, of course, we're still in the market to um, figure out a different RV or whether, you know, we'll go Class C or will we go higher. Um, and obviously, if we go something even bigger, too much bigger, I would have to get a different truck. But for right now, um, I, the deal was too good between interest rate and the price and the year and the mileage um yeah i, I she did I good she did great mileage wise and as did i she went from a 2005 to 2018 i went from a 2003 to a 2008 but my 2008 only has 102,000 miles on it so yeah we're 
So we'll be trucking back. Um, I'm, he got his title a couple days ago. I'm still waiting on the white copy of mine so that I can go transfer my tra tags. And yes, we are still carrying our Ohio tags and whatnot. Number one, because they're, you know, the vanity, the personalized plates and they're expensive. And we'd already paid for them. His, his was just in February. So mine will come up due again in October. But uh, yeah, it's cheaper to just transfer, I mean, transfer the tags vehicle to vehicle. It's like four dollars. And then worry about transferring them to a different state down the line, you know. I just want to get back. Uh, you know, nothing like sleeping in your own bed. I love my family and all, but you know, we've already been here just about five weeks now and I feel bad because, you know, we're here, you know, and but um it is what it is but um we go day by day that that's what we do yeah so but we try to enjoy every day and, and, and love and appreciate our family you know tomorrow's aren't promised um but um with the, the, the headaches and the physical pain and, and stuff i deal with i have tried uh, it's taken me a real long time to get back into the doing the videos putting them together uh, I'm still reeling from my major loss of all my data, my pictures, and I'm looking down at the phone because my phone is down here and the camera's here, so I'm sorry. Say something. This whole time I've not looked at the camera and I just realized that because I'm, I'm looking at the camera, looking at my cell phone down here because I'm keeping track of time. Plus, with the GoPro, I've got the app on my phone so I can see, you know, on the camera where we can't see. So I apologize, this whole time I've not been looking at the camera and, you know, that that's rude, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, as I said, I've, I'm still reeling and heartbroken about, I, I, I ended up purchasing a software or whatever it was and still working with it and then we ended up having to take the trip. So I, I put that aside, I haven't saved anything else on that drive because I still want to work on it when we get back, but just that I'm still reeling from it, you know, there's still the potential that I've lost everything, like 20, 30 years worth of photography and, and videos and home. But between that and uh, my con continuous now chronic um, physical pain and, and then the migraines I suffer from the assault, um, you know, I go day by day, but um, I have been trying to do things to get myself out of my funk. Depression is hard and especially when you know all this other stuff is going on and you can't go visit friends like you want to or you know go all the places you want to go. It, it, it's really hard and if you're already dealing with your own little personal demons you know put it that way and then you have all this added stuff and and you can't get out because it's nice out you know you know you want to get out and do stuff but I've been trying to find other ways to occupy my time and be kind of productive. Um, I started a, myself a new craft um, making fabric ornaments. This is one of them that I'm putting together. This one is the Marine Corps one, but um, I'll end up taking pictures and show you again. But what, it, what they are are fabric ornaments and uh, I'm going to start I'll create them and then I'll share them and then you know obviously especially if it's that one I'm having fun with um, I'll be able to replicate or keep doing and changing colors and um, I'll share more of that with you later and um, hopefully that's something that I can share and, and maybe people will be interested in, in, in buying that particular craft there's a couple other craft things that I do personally but as I said with depression depression is the evil depression drains life force out of everybody and it's, it's so hard but um i just wanted to share that i'm personally trying and i'm personally battling with myself every day and you know having family here has helped and having chunky you know on my ass all the time like come on come on that was a bird wasn't it? that was awfully close <laughs> but um yeah so um it feels like it's already got warmer has it yeah, it's, I'm a fat guy in the summertime. I sweat anyway. So. Well, what's worse is it, it's only 80 degrees, but the humidity is like... So, 
anybody and everybody out there right now um, dealing with the uh, can't use the word but uh, the COVID thing um, be safe. That's probably bad enough. Yeah. Um, Prayers for everybody that that is affected with it. As of right now they said Florida, Arizona, and another state were the new up-and-coming hotspots. That's terrible. I mean, you have all the naysayers, and yeah, some of it may be blown out of proportion, and I'm not going to get into my my thoughts on every bit of, bit of that. Just people get sick, period. doesn't matter what it is. But Pray for them. Everybody, you know. please be safe. That, that's, all we, that's all we can say. That's mm -hmm. all we can tell you. Especially tomorrow is never promised. You never know what's going to happen with everything going on nowadays. You just got to live day by day, you know, enjoy your family, tell everybody you love them, you know, you, tomorrow's never promised. So, but with that, we're going to say our goodbyes. Um, thank you for joining us. Again, thank you to all our new friends who have um, traded stickers with us, and we look forward to the ones that, since our four weeks here, that everybody's sent um, to our post office box in Quartzsite. Everybody be safe. Everybody take care of everybody, each other and, you know, enjoy life. Don't forget to check out that link. Appreciate the day, that each day that you've given. Don't forget to check out the link for Sticker Mule in the description. Like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. See y'all later. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, wait. I like... Not bye yet. <laughs> yeah. See this? I'm getting this fixed tomorrow, so... Yay! You know, the COVID part or whatever. <laughs> you did what? You just kicked the table. My bad toe. Your bad Get toe. that out of my damn face. Give me the camera. No. Give me the camera. Oh, look, she needs her hair done. I know, I just admitted it. My hairdresser has been backed up forever. Oh, no. Say hi. Hi. Nick was no good for her and it broke Skippy handle the time. Okay, bye. Just coming here to rest, Dustin. Turn the light on. You're gonna have to cut that part. Say hi. There he is. <laughs> ah. He didn't want to be part of our video. Yeah, he's enjoying his last little bit of freedom before work. He's so. part of our video now. <laughs> Well, anyways, oh, it's. I gotta turn it, yeah, see? Yeah. Say hi, Mackie! Mackie, Mackie! Hi, Gideon! You ain't gotta get up. Anybody want a treat? I was going to say, don't make him sit. Oh, there's the nice floor that Dustin and Chunky did since this visit. They did the kitchen part first, and then they did the whole dining room. There's a subjective picture of There's a what? Subjective picture of me somewhere here. But anyways. I'm looking at the phone again. <laughs> I'm not used to using the GoPro. Um, so, but. Anyway, bye for real. Take care. Here, take it. I'll turn it off. Bye from Washington Courthouse, Ohio. <laughs> Say bye to everybody. Say bye. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Want to see more of our adventures? Click the subscribe and notification button.